guys. So Florida State fans are not very happy right now. Um, Deion Sanders is. I'll just put it that way. Travis Hunter, the number one player in the class of 2022, has pulled off a big surprise on National Signing Day. He decided to flip to Jackson State, an all-black college, historically black college, and it's just it's pretty crazy that um, this is happening. I haven't seen anything like it, and I didn't expect a guy who is the number one player in the country to not even be playing Power 5 football or, I mean, even FBS football, which is insane. And um, big win for Deion Sanders. Big win for Deion Sanders. I, you got to give a lot of credit to him because he's he's a, just a part of a small program right now. And obviously he has a big name, and that's, that's just who he is. He's going to be that guy who's going to be able to attract a lot of recruits just because he's Deion Sanders. He has a swag, and he has that whole mantra, which a lot of people want to be a part of. But I didn't think he'd be able to do something like take the number one player in the country. And really, there's some irony to it because his alma mater is Florida State. He took him from Florida State, so that's pretty cool. And when you look at how this affects like Florida State in general, because Florida State's not a program that can afford a loss like this right now because this was one of their big things they can hang their hat on is getting Travis Hunter. Because they were excited about this, because they haven't been able to win very many games as of the last few years, and they hoped that they still got a good class. They still got like a top 15, 20 class this year, but losing him, he was the crown jewel, and losing him definitely puts a damper on things for Florida State and for Florida State fans. That's just what they've been used to the last few years is disappointment after disappointment after Jimbo Fisher left, and. It's it's crazy to think that they were on top of college football, really, and definitely in 2013, and then they made the playoff again in 14, in the first year of the playoff, and then they, from what I remember, had a couple good years in 15 and 16, and then that game against Alabama, that first game against Alabama, is when they kind of faltered. I mean, I just remember that 2017 season. That's when they screwed up. That was still their last winning season, though, and. uh in 18, 19 under Taggart didn't go well. Fired him. They hired Norvell, and so far he hasn't done very well. And I know a lot of people are calling for his head just because he's lost out on Hunter now and he didn't really do well in his first couple of years. So it's definitely an interesting, interesting time at Florida State where they went from being on top of college football to being, um, you know, not even competitive in the top 20 teams in college football in just a span of a few years, which is which is uncommon. Normally it's it's a gradual thing that happens, but Florida State, big name, but they need to figure whatever the heck's going on there that's hampering them right now. Alright, thank you guys. See you next time.